commercial structure fire at 42885 42885 Grant Boulevard. We're receiving multiple calls reference this incident. I see from Captain Nixon. We have discovered a 55 gallon drum. It is labeled cyanide. Two of my members have been exposed. We need assistance.
pause the simulation and record a transfer of command report. Restart the video portion after you completed the transfer of command report. Prepare your audio recording device to review this simulation. Use your recording to verify you adequately addressed each question in the simulation review. You should pause the simulation after each question to review your audio and discuss and or contemplate your response to the question. To obtain the best results from this process, do a critical review of your actions. Did you do an initial report on conditions? Did your initial report include the size of the building? Did your initial report include the height of the building? Did your initial report include the occupancy of the building? Did your initial report include witnessed conditions? Did your initial report include your initial actions? Did your initial report include your resource needs for this incident? Did you establish command and give a command post location? Did you address a 360 degree assessment? Did your 360 address design and construction features? Did your 360 address entry and egress points? Did your 360 address conditions found? Were the conditions found different than you anticipated? Did your 360 address interior fire travel path? Where has the fire been? Where is it going? Did your 360 address a survivability profile? Did your 360 redefine your incident priorities? Did you communicate your overall objectives to all personnel on the fire ground? Did you identify and name appropriate work groups maintaining a reasonable span of control? Did you maintain situational awareness? Did your sequential actions include slicers, that is, size up, locate the fire, identify and control the flow path, cool the heated space from a safe location, extinguish the fire, rescue, and salvage? Did your tactical objectives address RECIO VS, that is, rescue, Exposures, Confinement, Extinguishment, Overhaul, Ventilation, and Salvage. Were you prepared for the incident within the incident with an effective command structure and resources? Did you do periodic personnel accountability reports? Did you give an effective transfer of command report? Did your transfer of command report include assignments? Did your transfer of command report include unity of command? Who is in charge and what resources are they responsible for? Did your transfer of command report include tactical objectives assigned to each work group? Here are some tactical considerations to contemplate based on fire behavior, building construction, fire prevention codes, and fire ground operations. This is not meant to be a complete list. These topics are designed to be thought-provoking and create discussion.
Thank you for your continued support of Scott Goodwin Associates. If you'd like to see your buildings in these simulations, please send us a high-resolution photo and the type of incident to info at sgaes.com, and we'll try to build them for you. Remember, train like your life depends on it, because it does. Be safe out there. When you face the fire